violent conflict, displacement, the growing climate emergency, the repercussions of the global pandemic, and increased polarization have reversed gains in women's rights globally. But the consequences of these crises hit female migrants and women and girls in displacement the hardest. We know that at the current rate of progress, it will take 300 years for women and girls to achieve gender equality. But how long will this take for female migrants and women and girls in displacement as inequalities are exacerbated among the marginalized within our societies? Evidence today points to an increasing gender gap in migration regarding the share of international female migrants which is decreasing globally. In 2020, there were 146 million male migrants and 135 million female migrants. But beyond data, migration has always been a highly gendered process that needs to be better understood to empower migrants and address gender inequalities in migration, further unlocking the potential of migrants of all genders. In a changing world beset by crises that impacts migrants the most, especially women and girls, we must stand firm and do our utmost to use evidence, bridge research, and work in partnership to shine a light on gender and migration. GenMig, the Gender and Migration Research Policy Action Lab, is IOM's multi-stakeholder initiative to improve gender equality in migration. GenMig leverages impact research on gender and migration through a global partner network involving governments, private sector, civil society, academia, and other UN agencies. GenMig brings together partners who recognize the high priority issue of gender equality in migration, acting as a multiplier to leverage commitments to evidence-based research policy and action on gender and migration. In essence, GenMig is designed as a transformational accelerator of change for the years to come, and most importantly, for migrants.